Hey all and welcome back to Paracord Reviews. This week we're going to look at the Paracord store of Paracord. I picked up 100 feet and uh, we're going to do a review, so stay tuned. So as I said this week, we're going to talk about the Paracord store. This is a one of the many stores out there. Atwood Rope, Board Paracord, Paracord Planet, Paracord Galaxy, who they resell Atwood uh, and a couple of others. And then you have the Paracord store. Uh, based on what I found out, it looks like they have their Paracord made by someone. I don't know who. Uh, according to their package here, as you can see, made by a certified U.S. government contractor. So uh, we're going to take a quick look at this and see what we can see. So I decided to go with Navy. thought I might try and make something for my truck. Maybe a cargo net or something like that. So... So according to them, this is 100% nylon, so it should have some stretch. Um, mildew and rot resistant, well, that should if it's nylon. And a tensile strength of up to 550 pounds. So first impressions. What well, feels good? It is rounded. It doesn't flat. I mean, it you know, they all flatten a little bit, but it is rounded, so it feels like it's not cheap. It feels like the sheath is not overly large. It's not soft, but it's not rough either, so it has a nice feel to it. If you wanted to make it and use it for a bracelet or something like that, I, I think you totally could. Let's cut it open and see. Okay. They say it has seven strands. Let's see if it actually does. One, two, three. Okay, so it does actually have seven strands. And they look high quality. As you can see here, seven strands. And the sheath cut pretty well. So now on to my favorite test, the melt test. As you can see, it melts very nicely and evenly. And it's it's already cooled down. So does a good job there. Let's see if this is a cheaper stuff though that catches fire easily as you know from previous videos some of the cheaper stuff it can catch fire okay so let's see it is burning And it's not putting itself out. Some of the things we've had before actually put themselves out. So I went ahead and blew it out. As I've said before, the reason I test this 
is when I'm dealing with the Boy Scouts, and some of these boys, they wear these, they get around fire. I just like to check and make sure that they are not going to, easy, well, not only easily catch, but if they catch, it's not going to burn them. So that's a little bit of a strike against them. Let me cut that. And yes, I need to sharpen my blade. I know. Okay. Okay. So, as I said, overall look and feel is nice. It's got the seven strands. Uh, it didn't it? melts evenly but as you saw it also caught fire so that's not exactly the best thing in the world next thing we're going to do let's build make a bracelet so let's see how that works out stay tuned so i'm halfway through and i have to tell you one thing that i'm really impressed with is the fact that this stuff doesn't twist as i'm wrapping this you can see it's staying uniform it's not twisting on me so it's like the cord itself is has a round feel, but it flattens out as necessary, if that makes any sense. The It just lays right, which is really nice. I will say that this makes up for the burnability, uh, its ease of working with it and manipulation is very good. So that's very impressive and makes it something that as somebody who may be working on a couple of dozen uh, bracelets you know having to go in and fix twists and what have you is the last thing you want to do so um, I will say that is that's big that's a, that's a big thing for me so as you can see I'm done you know what uh, this stuff is really good I, uh, it, or, well, I'll say it was really easy to work with. It's usability is, I, I, it's, I'm kind of speechless because it's just so easy to work with. Um, it lays right. It works out well. Um, you know, I, it'll be interesting to see how this holds as you know i wear it as i wear it uh and maybe take it out have it get wet things like that uh, so but overall i have to say i'm happy with this stuff um, it is comfortable like i said it's soft or it's not soft but it is not rough it has some resistance so you can um, it, it gives a little bit of friction there if you need that for any project um, it feels very strong the ne the one negative that i had with the um with it burning i think was outweighed by the uh, usability so uh, that negative and that positive cancel each other out. So overall, I will say for the Paracord store, and I don't know who makes their stuff, but for the Paracord store, I'm going to give them a 5 out of 5. This is superior stuff. I think I spent for 100 feet $10.99 or so. About $11. Overall, I'm happy with it. I look forward to working with this. And uh, once I get done with the cargo net, I will uh, I'll, uh, make a video on that and show you all. So, if you have any other manufacturers, vendors that you want me to test, please put a note, send me a message, drop a line, leave a comment. I do look at those stuff. 
And if there's anything else, you have some ideas or thoughts, once again, drop a line. But until next time, keep paracording and take it easy. Later.